here I've put a remote start system into my Subaru Forester. You can see here it's based on my Arduino. I've got a Bluetooth module over there. I've also got some relays down here in a box. The red leads are the ignition. And uh, eventually everything will be combined into that single black box. But for now, testing purposes, I have it split apart. I have a switch up here. Let's, we'll turn the Arduino on and off. You can see right now it's on. You can also see the lights are blinking down there on the Bluetooth module, and the Arduino's on. Uh, for start, the shifter's in neutral. It takes that into account. Uh, and the keys are out of the ignition. I'll go over here, grab my computer, and we'll go for a little walk. I have it talking via the Bluetooth board. Eventually, my goal is to have it working on my cell phone, so I can Bluetooth from my phone. Uh, but right now, I just got it working from my computer. So we'll go ahead and connect up just through a serial port here. Sometimes it has trouble connecting. I think that's the Bluetooth in my computer. All right, so here we're connected. You can see we're probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 feet from the car. And the way I have it programmed right now, all you have to do is type an S into the window, and it'll take into account whether the car is already running. It'll take into account uh, if it's in gear or not. Uh, we don't want to start it unless it's in neutral, obviously. And so we'll go ahead and do that. I'll just press an S here on the keyboard, and you'll see the car start. And there it goes. It took a little bit longer than it should have because it looks like it had disconnected and had to reconnect or something. But uh, it should start within a second. And now the car is running. And it'll stay running for 30 minutes or until you shut it off. Also, if you start to drive, it'll shut off as well. It's a safety precaution in case somebody tries to steal it. Or um, Also, I don't want to be going 60 down the freeway and have it shut off on me. Um, because my system failed, I want to use the original system that the car was designed to operate with. So. Anyway, there's my little project, and uh, hopefully pretty soon I'll get it all into that little box and uh, get it all stowed up underneath the dash there.